Hello, um, today I'm going to do a bang good review of uh, these two tools. They are called the, the Piranha, the Piranha tools. And uh, there are two kinds of kind of this tool. One is the larger one with the oval holes. And the other one is uh, this one with the black uh, thing. We'll get to it soon, but uh, so the most obvious distinction is this black bit on this tool, which doesn't exist at all on this tool. Uh, so if you see an image, this is how you uh, decide between the tools. And the reason that you want to uh, make this distinction is because one of these tools is awesome and the other sucks really badly. So uh, let's talk about uh, what you get uh, in these tools. Let's start with this one. So uh, it has uh, this uh, release mechanism and once you uh, uh, you have to uh, depress uh, this handle here and then the mechanism releases and now you have a, a grip that you can use and uh, this is very very convenient um, also there is on, on the handle there is this and I'm not sure what this actually does um, so let's close this up uh, so of course you have a, a knife uh, which locks into place uh, with this bit and uh, I think I didn't sharpen this knife but you can obviously sharpen it it looks pretty sturdy and uh, the grip of the knife um, is uh, somewhat convenient uh, it allows you a good grip let's close close it up okay so on the other end you have uh, uh, this uh, uh, change, uh, changeable uh, uh, wrench I'm not sure what its name and if if I can uh, turn it more and more and then this bit will fall out so let's say that the, the maximum size of this is uh, let's say 15 so maybe 16 millimeters you can go up to 16 millimeters and it will still be somewhat okay um, so this is the this end the ovals uh, you can try to use them as uh, wrenches like this uh, I don't have the bolt here to test um, so probably can use them somehow uh, in this way I'm not sure that this is was their intention when they made them so uh, on this end you have uh, a Phillips screwdriver which comes out and then you have uh, the leverage to uh, turn it with the entire tool and you have a flat head screwdriver with a quite, quite a large head and again you have the leverage of the tool and other than that uh, there is a clip here, a belt clip it's uh, pretty strong and um, this is basically it this now sells for um, I saw it for I think sixteen dollars on Banggood it, it's made out of uh, what feels like to be stainless steel it's called a uh, piranha because it looks like a piranha and uh, I bought it I think when it was on some sort of sale for maybe twelve dollars 
and I, I think this is a bargain. Uh, it is pretty useful and uh, I, I love this tool very much. So I decided uh, for this review to buy this version which I accidentally thought to be the second version of this tool and uh, to my horror I discovered that this version with the black thing is horrible and I'll show you a few, few reasons why so um, first of all uh, instead of the of the two uh, screwdrivers that you see here they made screwdriver bit heads and uh, on uh, here and on on here you can insert these heads to get either a leverage like this or a leverage like this but there is nothing holding the bits inside it so as you can see one bit already fell out but uh, basically uh, if you just uh, you know it's in your pocket and you're walking and uh, two of the bits already fell out and I'm sure that uh, if, I'm, if I'll keep walking with this on my pocket or if I'm having this on my belt then the last bit will fall out as well so these bits are stuck within this plastic thing and that's it nothing is holding them so when you insert it it will simply fall out if you turn it like this nothing is holding it so I thought um, I'll add uh, maybe glue some magnets inside because uh, these are, are magnetic uh, where did I put my magnet so they are magnetic so technically you can put glue some magnets inside and maybe that will hold them uh, I, I just got this today so I haven't tried to tweak with it so let's look at uh, the other things which are exactly identical as the other tool so first let's look at the knife so again uh, the knife let's compare it to the knife of the other one you can see uh, the difference uh, in the size of the knife and uh, this one has a locking mechanism well this one has nothing so the knife is better on, on uh, the first tool over this tool and again you can see the locking thing uh, the same as we saw here so here you can't even release it until you depress uh, the handle here uh, you can release it uh, easily and in fact in some cases I accidentally released it with my finger and uh, um, that's, that's it, it basically jumped out in my pocket like that and I, I only had it for one day so uh, this was pretty annoying uh, oh, I forgot to mention that there is a cutter, uh, I don't know if you can see the two blades here, the cutter blades, but I think they, are, they also exist on, on this, yes, yeah, so here they are, uh, no, they are not sharpened as much as this, so I guess this, no, here they are not sharpened here as well. But it seems that you can uh, disassemble them via this bolt and sharpen them a little bit more. Yeah, both sides. So you can see the bolt here and the bolt on the other side. So at least this one is a plus for this. Um, okay, so the other uh, end is the retractable bit. And uh, you can't really see it but uh, this is pretty bulky and feels sturdy while this feels very very flimsy and it's hard to describe but I just feel that the material on this bit right here is much better than this maybe it's subjective 
So let's open it up. And uh, oh, good, it has a limiter. So at least they fixed that over the one here, which doesn't have a limiter. And you can basically uh, lose it. So this one, it, it's stuck. But that also means that this is the absolute maximum, which is which is 14 millimeters. So two millimeters less than uh, this two. Um, okay, so um, I think that's about it for these tools. The video is already 10 minutes long. Um, so I, I really love this tool. I used, uh, this is my EDC tool, uh, together with uh, Leatherman. I have a, a real tool, uh, which is Leatherman. Uh, but I use this as, as a backup tool uh, to get me some good uh, uh, player grips. So as you know, my actual work is programming, so I don't do much of technical stuff. It's not like I'm a handyman or something. But sometimes, in the extreme cases, I do need uh, uh, to uh, get to have a wrench or some pliers or a cutter or a good knife. And this tool, uh, for the money it cost me, $12, is excellent buy. So I really love this tool. I carry it every day in my bag. This, uh, if I'll be able to fix uh, the beads, the magnetic beads, um, I'll maybe use it. And I'll try to tighten the screws here. Then I'll use it. But if you want uh, one of these tools, I'll I would definitely go with this one, the bigger one. So I'll leave uh, links in the description. And thank you for watching and have a nice day.